Alright guys, this week I will be building a wooden boom box where you can listen to it on your iPod or anything with a 3.5 millimeter jack. So let's not waste any more time and start up right away. And now I have the main frame of the box panned out. So this side and this side will flip up. And these two sides will flip like that. And then I got two of these, one for the top, one for the bottom. So now I need to take my side piece right here. And I have to find the center spot on each side for my speakers to go. And now I have all the box tacked together. So what I'm going to do is take some wood glue and just tack on some braces. All right, so the boom box is coming along pretty good. I'm just going to let it dry overnight with the nails holding it all together and a clamp on one side. And inside there, you can see I put spacers and I just loaded it with glue. And before I started hacking away at this plywood, I didn't want to waste it, so I took a piece of hardware type stuff and I cut out a circle in it. And I'm gonna take my speaker and drop it in and just make sure that it fits. And it does, so now I can just take this little template I made line it up where I want it and I can just trace out the inside and that will give me the most accurate cut. And what I did was I soldered all the wires together to the speaker and I actually pulled out that circuit board type thing that you saw from some speakers from my old computer. And what I did was I took out that board and I just found all the soldering connections and I soldered those and I put electrical tape over all the solders just to protect them. And what I did was I put this 3.5 millimeter jack on the boombox so it can come out of the back and I just plug it into your iPod and you can start playing music whenever you want. Some, some things I wanna point out real quick are that on the back of the boom box, I have this piece of felt covering it so that not only the wire can come out through it, but when I need to get into it real quick, easy access, pop open it. I can access all my cords, pull that out, have it charged up by a nine volt battery and there's a little on off switch already on the thing from the microphone when I don't need that, I want it covered up, pop it over 
And that is how to build a boombox. Thank you guys for watching. And please give this a thumbs up if it helped you in building a boombox or it gave you some inspiration to build some type of music box yourself. So I will see you guys next week for more woodworking projects. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed.